What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Zeus. His name is Cross the Kid. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Odin. His name is Killuminati. The map yet again. Competitive Mega Random, but Divine Intervention Tournament game number four. As we see yet another uh, crazy matchup here. Odin versus Zeus. I love this matchup. Uh, another way to think about this tournament is I think about all the matchups I like, and then those are the matchups that are actually in the tournament. <laughs> matchups I don't like aren't in the tournament. Um, though I think some extra matchups have made it in that I thought maybe were a little bit on the funny side, but maybe, I don't know, or whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We've got an Odin for Kaluminati. We've got a Zeus for Grass. We'll see how things are going to go here uh, in this matchup. Uh, there is also, both players have got access to a veto. So if you do find yourself in a matchup that would normally be an equal matchup on, say, a land map and you get a water map, you can utilize your veto for said water map though there are going to be matchups that are also equally viable so you have to be careful when you use that veto look at your um your god matchups and ensure you're you're uh, utilizing that one in the right moments but we haven't had any sort of situation in this um in this series thus far where there's been sort of an unfair situation for either player to be in for that early uh for, for that game so uh should be, uh, should be completely fair and reasonable thus far, as we do see a lot of hunt on this map. Uh, I would be surprised to see Grass doing anything other than a uh, than an Athena rush here. He does do something a little bit strange. I'm not a fan of this. I do see some players doing this. Specifically, I see Nullis doing this and, and things like that, uh, players like that, where they, they eat one hunt from their starting hunt, and then they move over to their secondary hunt, and they start eating that. The idea being that they get to save that starting hunt or something in their main base, or the villages that they create out of their main town center end up, um, end up like, going to this starting hunt so it is less walking time but in the end i think it's better if you if you've got a thousand food plus in the starting base or 900 food even to just take the uh the fast advance and put the early pressure onto your opponent in that sort of a matchup especially against odin here so i'm a bit surprised to see grass going for this he's at the very at the very earliest he's only going to be able to advance at the 430 mark here's that temple only now just coming down it takes about 30 to 40 seconds for the temple to actually finish so 4.30 advance time for Grass will allow Kaluminati a lot of opportunity here to set up. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, there's a couple of um, different ways to think about this this uh, this base that Kaluminati has been left with. Uh, but he's got a gold mine that is relatively open here. But he does have a nice forest here. He can wall this in. He can create defenses on this position very, very easily against uh, a lot of different things. We do see the villagers now making their way over onto the wood line here. Uh, this hippopotamus can continue to get uh, eaten. Five villagers on the wood over here. Three villagers on the food over here. One villager over here. Very, very fast advance time from Kaluminati. Grass on the other hand here. He's still producing villagers. He's still not advanced. He's got his temple up, but he doesn't have the food to advance just yet this is a very very late advance time here from grass and this is all stemming from the fact that he's left these hippopotamus in his base so we'll see what strategy he's actually going for here with this one as grass um he's shorted himself he wanted to advance here but he shorted himself four food and he has to kill a boar and he has to get four or one food per four villages this is a very very bad uh start here for um uh for grass and we'll see if it's going to be a problem or not uh there's a couple of options here as well for 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 Kaluminati in terms of strategy he could go for a crazy fast second town center considering how late grass and groom has hit the classical age uh alternatively he can just go for a really really fast rush onto this position here hitting this position as well there's no hunt at the back of uh of grass and groom's base either which does mean the i mean the 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 ravens look like they're heading out there and they will be spotting that uh so he can get a lot of good damage done there as well but we'll um we'll have to wait and see how things will manifest here in this game relics have been uncovered there is the mythical horseshoes this is a huge relic in this matchup 
uh, as a Scarab Pendant here as well. Not the most useful, but definitely does help out a little bit in that later stage of the game. Particularly for uh, the Odin player, getting that boost on the Ballister is a, is a huge help uh, where that's concerned. So we'll see how things are going to go. As uh, got some Hercer starting to pop out. Hermes? No, Athena. The god of choice here for Grass. Super, super late here. Now, this is where you really get to see what sort of a player is playing the game. There's, there's two types of top players. There's a top player who really understands age mythology, and there's a top player who um, has learnt uh, the kind of meta at a really, really high level. Now, the meta is to drop two military buildings here. That doesn't cut it when you're advancing this late. You actually need to drop four military buildings to spend all your resources, and then you need to kind of cut one hoplite to to ensure that you continue training villagers so you get those military buildings down to catch up on the population and sort it out from there it's actually a really really weird uh situation to be in as grass is sending his villagers forward there is a cheeky line here he is getting hit with uh, a lot of unfortunate things to start this game off as we do see a longhouse up the walls are up around this uh sentry tower here long uh raining cavalry coming through as Archery Range, Military Academy, Military Academy coming down. He can definitely afford to throw down another one here. Uh, he does have... Does he have any economic upgrades? No economic upgrades is probably a mistake here from Grass, considering he advanced as late as he did. As the uh, Raven coming over here, going to be looking for a cheeky little forest fire, but not really going to be wanting to use it on just two villages here. As the villagers will get onto this savannah tree. No problem. And one thing I would love to see from Kiluminati is get that wall up on this position. He's opened up his base, unfortunately, with the villagers on this wood line here. Uh, as he pulls off there, moving up to the top corner here, maybe going to be jumping onto these boars uh, as the army is going to slowly start making its way over. Do we see an Odysseus out? Yes, we do. Odysseus is through, and the units are going to start wandering across the map here uh, as well. And can uh, Kaluminati, with the uh, lengthy travel distance from this one spot over to the other spot, be able to get here or not is the big question. There are a handful of uh, Hursa here to take out those, uh, to take out that Minotaur, but he gets the special attack off onto that uh, Raiding Cavalry, able to basically one-hit it there as the units here starting to motor in for Grass onto this position to take Kaluminati off of this hunt. As this is the only hunt left on the map, Kaluminati basically needs to fight it. He does have a decent amount of hurtables in his main base as the Minotaur gets off another special attack there. Flaming, uh, forest Fire getting dropped down onto this position, getting a little bit of damage done, forcing the army to retreat away. Uh, as, I mean, Restoration could be utilized here very simply to turn around. There's a lot of units here for Grass. He's at 54 or 55 population taking this fight. The Minotaur retreats trading away as Kaluminati coming through. He's got no throw and axe here as the Hoplites are able to just motor through those uh, units way too easily. And unfortunately, Kaluminati does end up tapping out there. He, he kind of a little bit lost in this matchup, unfortunately. He needed to... Uh, he needed to get the, the throw and axeman out. He needed to get the Hurser out to deal with that one. But he went for raiding cavalry straight away. And the hoplite spammage that Grass did, just too much there, it seems. Uh, I'm interested in what the difference in economy there actually felt like. All resources here, Kaluminati managed to shoot up with a big advantage here. I'm not sure if that's because of the, um, the cancel of the age up or, or what happened there though i think that's actually what's happening so you have to take this line take 400 resources or so off of this uh so it's basically equal here in terms of resources uh but obviously the the greek army very very strong in that early stages of the game and grass manages a quick three to one here after dropping that first game and grass manages to go on to the next round if you guys enjoyed this one please consider the follow on the twitch from the youtube hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next game